Okay, so like there's this lady coiled and Sunfang Oasis who's trying to brew up a real special potion, but needs some help <coughs> gathering the ingredients for it. Don't leave her hanging, girl. Go help. Unfortunate face. Share a drink with me. I have before you an unfinished love potion. You shall help me complete it. First, find some crab legs. Go visit Loretta. She should have some. Loretta's a crab monger and horribly in love with me. Unrequited. Very sad. Do not ask her about it. Too painful for her to speak of. Steal them, obviously. Or we could just, you know, buy them. Somebody looking at us? I'll buy them! Ugh, fine. You never let me steal anything. So, you want to get you some crab legs, do you? Sure do. Got someone nearby who needs them for a potion. Oh, okay. Not for Cardassian, is it?
because I really just can't stand her. No, 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 no. Surely not, no. I require crab legs right now. Sell me yours. You've already been sold, Karen. What? This is an outrage! I am entitled to what I want at all times! You! You took the crab legs that were rightfully mine! I'll kill you! Karen, calm down! killed my least favorite customer. I'm so sad. Better go mourn. Spell yeah! Hey, did Loretta mention me at all, or...? Know what? Don't answer that. Go find some crying apples for the potion. Should be close. What exactly is a crying... Apple Tina. Don't play coy, Frenadette. You know what they are. They're apples that taste like hate. And when you cut them, they fall off in rings. And they make you think about the babes you wronged. And then you cry. Oh, you cry and cry and cry. You mean onions? I don't know what that word you said means. It sounds like... Silence, Frenadette Gallery! I hear you trying to teach me something. There's a trick to plucking crying apples. Gotta disturb the surface soil. Then they'll pop out of the ground. To get the crying apples out of the ground, do not use your head, use your body. also requires googly tubers. Sorry, googly tubers? <coughs> what are you talking about? They're brown, they're starchy, you mash them, put butter on them, shove them in your mouth, taste delicious. You mean potatoes? <laughs> this how you want to die, Fred? You want to die talking some made-up words at me? Okay, okay, googly tubers, got it.
carry weight. You got the stuff? Excellent. Now come back. It is time for love. Now the potion, like love itself, must do. Just as we must defend our hearts from false love, you must defend this potion from the dragon. Yeah, I'm doing metaphors now. <sighs> My mom is grown as a storyteller. <laughs> I suppose. It wasn't really a love potion, though, right? Just a nice gumbo? Oh, you poor, poor, simple, stupid, dumb, idiot, baby brain, dumb, dumb head Valentine. The best way to someone's heart is through their tum tums. That's why I keep shoving crumpets in Moxie's mailbox. Oh, yeah. Things are getting uh, pretty serious between Moxie and me, I have to say. Yeah. 